So many of you guys, I'm sure you've prayed, God help Ethiopia, God help these people, God help that person. What if God wants to use you to help them? What if God wants you to be the blessing for your family? These are things you need to wrestle with. The Bible says, the harvest is ready, but the workers are few. Meaning there's many people waiting to be touched by God. Their hearts are open, but there's only a few God can send. I'll share this story and we'll close. I remember university, back in university. God, when I do, when he sends me out in on evangelism, sometimes it gets stressful because I feel like, God, you're overworking me. I'm 10 minutes late to class, God. <laughs> one more person? Okay. <laughs> you know? And this one time I was so tired and was so cold. And I was like, God, I'm tired, God. I don't know what to do right now. I'll do it, but I'm just telling you, God, I'm tired. <laughs> and he said to me something that broke my heart. He said to me, Oliad, why do you think I use you? And then he was like, it's because I don't have people on this campus. He was like, I don't have people who hear me and who will do what I tell them to do. And then that verse came to my heart. The harvest is ready and the workers are few. I remember I was in public. I started crying when I heard that. I was like, how selfish can I be? God is out here trying to change and transform people. But I'm saying, uh, maybe I need some juice, you know, need some snack. I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm trying to go back home, watch a show. God is trying to use you to touch the people in your lives. He's not trying to use any, he's trying to use you. Every single person here, God wants to use you, but he's not going to force you.